Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes in the OR. Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Noreen, your resident foot and ankle specialist, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me to the OR. So yeah, basically I'm going to walk you through a day in the OR when you're a physician. So you guys, basically what happens is the hospital is set up with the pre-op area, the surgical area, and the post-op or recovery area. So as a physician, when I get to the hospital, one of the first things I'm going to do is either go to the pre-op area or go change into my sterile surgical scrubs. What I do first kind of depends on my mood. Sometimes I'll go see the patient first, sometimes I'll go change my clothes first. It also sometimes depends on the layout of the hospital. Sometimes it's easier to do one before the other. Most recently, I just talked about what I did most recently, which was I went to the locker rooms and I changed into my sterile scrubs. And then after that, after I was in my sterile scrubs, I then went to the pre-op area where I saw the patient and we once again go over the surgery. We make sure we know if it's left or right and oftentimes we'll ask you guys are we doing the left or the right and we know the answer but we just want to make sure where everyone's on the same page because that's one thing we check constantly is left or right, left or right. So we'll walk, we'll talk to the patient, go over the procedure, go over any questions they may have and at that point Sometimes there's a family member, sometimes there's not. I'll usually at that point give the patient prescriptions for any medications that I want them to take that they can fill on the way home or if they have someone there with them, that person can go fill it for them as well. And then after I talk to the patient, answer any questions they may have, I then go to the pre-op area and I do all the pre-op paperwork, which means like reviewing and signing the h &P, which is the history and physical that the patient had done before they had surgery and basically going over their meds, making sure that, that everything is in order. Then after that, I will usually to go to the OR, make sure that the back table has everything that I need for that procedure. And the back table is basically the back area where all the tools that we need for surgery are set up. It's usually where the surgical assistant stays and they will reach for the instruments from that table and hand it to the surgeon. You guys, once you go into the OR, everything that is blue is sterile. So everything that is blue, you can only touch if you're scrubbed in. So you guys, after that, once I go to the OR and make sure that everything that I need is in the OR, then we wait for the patient to get rolled back into the OR. Once the patient is in the OR and they're set up on the, on the bed and they're intubated and everything is looking good, we then will usually put on a tourniquet. The tourniquet go on the thigh, the calf, or the ankle, kind of depends on surgeon preference and the procedure that you're having. I will secure that and then we will sometimes put a local anesthetic into your foot or ankle to make sure that you're numb before we make our incision and then after that we're basically ready to start the procedure. So after that we'll go in and we'll scrub in which is what you see a lot in the movies when the doctors are like scrubbing in at that big gray sink. So then we'll scrub in, we then go back into the OR and we gown and glove which basically means we're put into sterile gown and glove and then we're ready to start your surgery. And then at that point, the head nurse in the room will usually call what's called a timeout, which basically means everyone in the room is paying attention and either the nurse will identify everyone or you'll go around the room and everyone will identify themselves. And then once you know that everyone that's supposed to be in the room is in the room, we'll then confirm the procedure and confirm that the procedure is being done on the left or the right side and the surgeon, the head nurse will just say, this is the procedure we're doing, is this correct? And then the surgeon will usually respond with, yes, that is the procedure that we're doing. And then we will go ahead and do the procedure. And then during the surgery, we also sometimes do something called a C-arm, which is a basically a portable x-ray machine that allows us to take, take x-rays of your foot when we're doing surgery to make sure that bones are in the correct position and hardware is being placed properly. Then at the end of the procedure, the sterile dressing is put on, then all the sterile drapings will come off and you'll be put into a cam boot or a post-op splint, whatever your surgeon is putting you into. And then usually also when you're closing, the head nurse will ask, was everything stated on the consent done? And the surgeon will either reply yes or no, or if there were any changes, they'll let the nurse at that time know and the nurse will document that. After we're done with surgery, the surgeon will then go and talk to any family or friends that are present to let them know how the procedure went or if there's a phone call to be made we'll call the family or friend and let them know how everything went and then that's pretty much it I am now done doing your surgery after that from the patient's perspective you're now being rolled back to the recovery area where you will wake up and then eventually go home but from my perspective once I'm done with your surgery and I walk out of the OR I will then do your post-op orders and do your post-op notes and then from the physician's perspective, I'm not going to do that whole process all over again for the next surgery. And you guys, that is basically 
how surgery works and what a physician sees in the OR. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. If you guys have any questions about it, leave them in the comments section down below. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stretch and subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, bye.